Okay, this is a quick video showing you how to create a profile for your controller, whether it be a MIDI controller or an OSC controller. All right, in this case, I'm going to be setting up a profile for my Korg Nano 2 just to show you how to do that. This can be any controller that you plug in. Um, so I just happen to have my Nano 2. Even though we have a bunch of profiles done, I'll show you how to do that very, very quickly. First thing you're going to want to do, though, is take a look over here. The controller you have plugged in, no matter what it is, should appear over here. Of course, it'll have a different name if it's made by a different company. But I'm going to choose my input coming from the Nano Control 2. So that's going to be my input. You do have to select that before you go and do your profile. Then I'm going to go up here to Profile. I'm going to say Create a New Profile. And I'll say Manufacturer Korg. Excuse me. And... I'm going to just put special, special profile here. It's a MIDI controller, so I select MIDI. And then it asks me here, when MIDI notes are, are used, send a note off when the value is zero. Yes, I would like that, so I'm going to check that. Then I go over to channels here. Rather than filling these in manually, it's very, very easy. Click the wizard. It says you've enabled the input channel wizard. After clicking OK, wiggle your mapped inputs controllers and they should be registered. So it's very simple. So I'm going to start by pressing this button here and then it registers it. Now I'm going to expand my things here so you can see a little bit about what's going on. Automatically gives it a number and then you can do, you can change behavior types once you've got these registered. So it's very, very simple. You simply just go through then, press your different buttons on the controller and it will register those. Now I'm going to do a slider, notice for slider, then I'll do a knob, and you just proceed through like that, and everything will be registered then for your machine. Now notice when I did this slider, it said slider, but we can change that later to a type by simply double-clicking here and saying that this is going to be a knob instead of a slider, and you can go and correct that. But the nice thing is about getting these numbers in, channel numbers, and the values. So you simply go through your whole uh, controller and get those all in and registered. Then you can go back later, once I've turned the wizard off, everything is completed, and do behaviors. If I want button 103 to be a note on, note off message, uh, note after touch, whatever it's going to be, I can change values. Button type is a button. Uh, encoder, whatever you'd like to do there, you can change values. But this is a very quick way of going in and getting all your buttons and stuff registered. Then, when you go to assign these in the virtual console by double clicking and doing auto detect, it's nice because it will actually come up with the various, various uh, buttons indicated. Rather than just coming up with a number, it'll actually come up with a button and, or a slider and tell you what that is so you have a better indication about what's going on. All right, the only other thing you want to remember about, once you create your profiles, though, these live on the, your computer that you're working on. If you need to move this profile to another computer, unfortunately, they don't have an easy way to import, export profiles. So you have to know where they're stored so you can actually put a copy of it on a thumb drive and then transfer it. So if you were to take this a particular QLC uh, setup, and then move it over to a laptop. Don't forget to move your fixtures if you have special fixtures that aren't listed and also move your particular profiles. And I'll just show you very quickly where the profiles are stored. I'm in a Windows computer so it'll probably be something similar to Mac. I'm going to go to this PC, my local disk C. Under users it's going to be like my current username and then under there you'll find a uh, subfolder QLC Plus this is where they store your custom fixtures that you've put in and also your custom input profiles that you've created. Those will all be there. So again, they don't have any way of transferring these profiles over, like exporting, importing them. So you do have to go in, find that folder. And it again, it's under your user and it'll be a QLC uh, a plus folder under your user files and then you'll find your inputs in there, input profiles, and you'll also find your uh, custom fixture profiles that you've entered.